Have you ever heard a ringing or buzzing sound in your ears, the kind that just won't go away? If so, you may have tinnitus. More than 25 million U.S. adults have the frustrating condition where they hear sounds other people can't. The Fox Medical Team's Seth Galvin is here with that story of one Cobb County man's search for relief vet. And Christine, you know, tinnitus, when you suffer from it, can be pretty maddening because it can be this constant loop of sound in your head. And Michael McCreary has been hearing these same couple of sounds for more than 25 years. But this fall, he finally found a device, he says, is helping to tame his tinnitus. This is how 68-year-old Michael McCreary of Marietta starts his day. I'm usually up anyway around 5 in the morning, between 5 and 6, and that's the first thing I do. I sit down, turn it all on, put it all in, and then I uh, sit and work uh, crossword puzzles. More about what this device is in a minute. But first, McCreary's tinnitus backstory. 1998, the Fox Theater in Atlanta, the Backstreet Boys with his girls. Uh, we got there and everything was fine. The warm-up was great. The second the band came on stage, it was the 4,000 screaming girls that was the problem, not the music. A few days later, McCreary says he started hearing this 24-7. If you've ever taken the hearing test, you hear them hear, play a tone to you raise your hand, yeah, I hear it. Um, that's what it was like. Eventually, that tone morphed into a constant whooshing that has become the soundtrack of the real estate manager's life. Tinnitus is a sound that you perceive that no one else can hear. So it's a sound that's not coming from the environment, it's coming from inside your body. The number one cause is usually a hearing loss. Audiologist Melissa Wyckoff of Peachtree Hearing in Marietta says people with tinnitus experience all kinds of sounds from to that can make it hard to function. But imagine there's that ringing there and you're trying to concentrate at work or have a conversation and you can't escape it. It's always there. And you feel like you're stuck with this the rest of your life. I have to hear this the rest of my life. But this, Wyckoff says, may help. Last fall, she began fitting patients like McCreary with the recently FDA cleared Lanier tinnitus treatment device. I have been specializing in tinnitus for the last 15 years. This is the most powerful tool that I have in my toolbox um, to treat tinnitus. It's pretty incredible. I started at the end of October. By Thanksgiving, I started noticing it getting better. McCreary uses the device twice a day for about 30 minutes each time as it stimulates both his ears and his tongue. It gives you a mild little tingle, little electrical pulse on the tip of your tongue. Sounds bizarre, but it's kind of like this, you know. <laughs> so it's bimodal neuromodulation. So Lanier works by stimulating the tip of your tongue and then using your ears. By stimulating two nerves at once, Wyckoff says the device is recoding the brain, damping down the symptoms of tinnitus. So using these two senses at the same time is really making the difference, and that's what's getting in the brain. What I noticed is that I wasn't having to work to concentrate. I wasn't having to, you know, reprogram my head away from the tone to be able to pay attention to something else. McCreary paid about $4,500 for the device and the follow-ups, and the tone, he says, is still there. It just no longer dominates his life. Doesn't wake me up, doesn't keep me from going back to sleep. I'm able to concentrate at work. I'm able to sit at the computer. After 26 years of searching for a way to turn down the noise, Michael McCreary finally feels like this may be it. I keep using it and uh, and continue to see progress with it. That's what I, that's my goal. And right now, Peachtree Hearing in Marietta is the only Lanier provider in the state of Georgia, and they do have about a four-week waiting list for assessments. So it may take some time to get in to see them. And again, most patients are paying for this out of pocket because insurance does not at this point cover it. They have been able to have some people get paperwork and some of their insurance will cover it, but really depends on your plan. Yeah. How long did it take from the time that he started using that machine to now? How long did it take? Well, that's a good question. He said they warned him or Dr. Wyckoff warned him it'll get worse before it gets better. Yeah. That's what happened. The noise went up and then it went down and it was probably about two to four weeks before he started noticing, hey, it's not there all the time. It's yeah. not really sort of running my life like it was. Wow. Yeah, it did sound like it was really annoying, I guess, for lack of a better word, yeah. just that constant ringing yeah. when you try to be, pro <laughs> you know, make progress during the day. Yeah. So, all right, Beth, very interesting. Thanks so Thanks. much. Let's go now.